Hello everybody. I thought I'd do a video of my book collection and trust me there is freaking loads. So I literally hope you have time. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna need a coffee and you're gonna need snacks because we're gonna be here a long time. So just let me move you around a bit. Um hold on a minute. Let me just move you over a tiny bit here. That's better, I think. Um, I think I'll move you over. That's better. We'll, we'll, we'll have you there. That's better. You can see the dog in the background. Um, so what we're going to do, what I'm going to do now is I literally have so many books. It is unreal. It is mental how many books I have. So I hope you've got your coffee and a snack because we might be here for at least an hour. So <laughs> someone wanted to see all of my books. Don't mind the hair. Or anything, I've got no fucking makeup on it or anything. Um, so I moved into this house about a year ago. Um, excuse me. So all of my um stuff was packed away. Um, so yeah, I had all, all my books put to, packed away. I've got must have at least 50 books here or something like that. So, like I said, you might want to sit back, have a coffee. Um, excuse me, have a coffee and um. Let's get into this now. So first, I'm going to start off with the, um, one, two, three. the first four books that I'm loving at the moment. So the first one here is The Hoodoo Black Folder. Um, it is an amazing book. I have had this a while, I think. I literally cannot remember when I bought this book. Um, this book came out in 2013. So I think I might have got, I think I got this in 2014, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but it's an excellent book. It goes into so much detail, it is really good. Um, it has stuff like working with spiritual supplies that you have, and it also goes into working with candles and lamps. Also, it goes in about mojo bags, mojo hands and packets and dolls. It also goes into um, bottle jars and other vessels. It also goes into conjure cookery, so you can use... Um, conjure in your cooking basically um, it also goes into divination it goes into cleansing spells protection spells love spells look and money spells reversing and cursing spells court kiss spells life-changing spells and prayers and spirituality it's a very very good book it's a good thing to have on hand as well it's very very good um, I'm going to put where I bookmark some stuff to tell you about it also in this book here, it also goes on about connecting to connecting the doll to your target. So basically, like when I make puppet dolls um, for like spell work for my clients, I um, would have their name and date of birth. If they could provide a picture, that would be great. You could give them a, have a picture as well. You it also. Um, like hair, nails, anything that you can get of that person. But if they're your clients live too far away, a picture will suffice basically. And obviously you need a name and date of birth as well. Um, but if obviously if your client lives near you, then obviously they can give you stuff or they could post it to you basically. Um, so you need to target um, stuff to put in the doll as well. It goes all sort about baptising your dolls. Um, breathing life into the doll and um, also how to, um, so I keep saying um so many pretty times, how to dispose of them as well. It also goes into, um, <coughs> there we go, I've just said it again, bottle and jar spells. Um, here, there, so I've said it again, bloody hell. It goes into spirit bottles. Also goes in, it says grocery store magic and it goes into the things that you could use like onions and what it's used for. So I'll quickly show you a quick glimpse of what it looks like in here. Here, it goes into what you can use them for. Here, I'm telling you this is going to be a long ass video. I guarantee it's going to be over an hour probably. Um, <clears throat> it goes into about, about using coffee and all kinds of stuff. How to spiritually cleanse your home or your business. It also goes into protection spells, love conjure, um, 
yeah there's that many books i've got i've studied so bloody much like i've been doing this like 23 years i started off witchcraft and what have you and 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 doing all this style studying like 23 years ago i was like i was 13 years old when i first started um so yeah i I've, I've learned a lot <laughs> along the way so yeah um also it has about loads of stone spells and drawing money to you and cursing and casting with dolls that is that book the hoodoo black folder by Catherine ironrod i think that's how you pronounce her name the next one i love at the moment is this one it is by miss ada um, it is cursing and crossing hoodoo spells to torment jinx and take revenge on your enemies um the spells in here i wouldn't advise doing unless obviously the person deserves it if they've been an asshole basically and if there's they've done stuff to your family these spells in here are only for that i get i obviously got all these books to like study and you know what i mean i just love books i absolutely love reading books um <coughs> this is um from lucky mojo um so yeah it's got all kinds of stuff in this i'm not going to go all the way through it i do have a video on my channel of a review about this so you can go check this video the video out about this book that i did but yeah it's cursing and crossing it's a very very good book and it just has some dark shit in it basically um so like i said i would advise only do the spells if you're going if you if you are going to do the spells in here so you could tweak the spells basically um i would only advise doing the spells in this book if the person deserves it basically like if they've hurt your child or they've robbed your house or they've just been a complete asshole and done you over really badly then this book is for you trust me it's this book here cursing and crossing by miss ada it's a really really good book trust me this next book is by dorothy morrison utterly wicked curses hexes and other unsavory nations this is a really good book i've bookmarked marked a few um i'm going to go through the contents actually with you most of the witches out there will probably have this book anyway um i've only recently got this book i think i've had it about three weeks basically um what is it it says here chapter one to hex upon thee um it goes on about to curse or not to curse it goes on about different spells um real dirt on the quick and the dead it, this is a really good book seriously the curse of a doll um immersing the curse dispensing of your curse reversing the curse as well it goes on about reversing curses so part two is actually like most of the spells so we have automobiles parking lots and traffic spells bad habits business dealings chaos and confusion it goes on about coffin nails court cases criminals debt relieval enemies um how to financially ruin somebody um gossip lies get to give um and general diary of the mouth um, matters of the heart um payback time it goes on about pins and needles and um, protective um revenge separation work sex it, it tells you how to deal with sexual harassment with spell work sleep disorders and tag locks like i said in the other one tag locks is like your hair your nails blood semen your vaginal juices sounds bloody disgusting but obviously that is what tag locks are but anything that belongs to the person like the fingernails um a piece of the hair a piece of the clothing that is a tag lock um so that is that book it is really good i'm going to go into the things i've bookmarked there's powders in here has a bit of certain powders it goes in about floor washes and different kinds of repetes jesus lisa um recipes sorry it goes in about spells how to break a bad habit basically this is a really good book to have if you want to if you're into all of that kind of stuff, if you want to get your own back on somebody, definitely get this book here. Utterly Wicked. I can hear the birds singing outside. It's lovely. So that's that book. Next book, I absolutely freaking love this 
author Denise Alvarado. She's amazing. Um, this is her book. It's just recently came out. When did it come out? I think it came out... When did this come out? I think it came out this year, actually, to be quite honest because I, I got excited because she... So I got her as a friend on my Facebook and um, and she said that she had a new book out. So I, no matter anything to do with Denise Alvarado, I love, I love her book, books. I did have her voodoo and hoodoo book for some bloody reason. Uh, for that and the voodoo doll book by her is, went missing and I have no bloody idea where the hell it went to. Um, so fig knows where that dissipates her. But this book is called Anthology of Conjure. I think she's going to bring a volume two out because I asked her and she says she, she's hoping to bring a volume two out um, eventually. But yeah, this book is bloody fantastic. Anthology of Con Conjure and volume one by Denise Alvarado. It is very good. I'm not, obviously, I'm not going to read through the whole book, um, but it... There's are excellent, excellent things in this book. It goes on about the LGBTQ community, how to make a um, a spiritual bath with that. Um, it goes on about good luck baths. Um, Louisiana Van Van Carpet Sprinkle, um, Hoist Cologne Hand Washes, Spring Cleaning Stuff. It goes, basically, it goes on about everything, everything that you want to know in Conjure. It's fucking amazing. It goes on about Adam and Eve, the um, fast look, banishing dark arts. It goes on about lodestone oils. It goes on about Spanish moss, conjure tips. It literally has so many things in here. And, it, and she's, she also put in here um, like remedies. So if you have like cold and flu, she told you how to make a cold and flu tea, a winter, winter wellness tea, um, crone root tea. Dream tea, fever, reducing tea, hot flush, hot flushes, you know, if like you're going for the menopause or something. Um, boost his nature tea, if you, you know what I mean. <laughs> Headache tea, healing ginger tea, insomnia tea, moon time tea, um, rejuvenation tea. It tells you how to do a breakup bottle. Um, it's got so many things in here. Black cat dust, bodyguard powder, rusty stomach powder. It's got literally confusion stuff to do about confusion um it goes on into the um astrology signs is it goes on about goofer pills and uh, goofer dust pills it literally has everything in this book it is bloody amazing if you want to know more about conjure get and, and who do definitely get this book by denise alvarado it's freaking amazing it has let me tell you it is a very very big book I'll tell you how many pages it has in this book. It has, let's have a look. Right, it has 399 pages. And I think this must have cost me around um, £20. So I'm, it might be around, I think it'll around about £20. I'm not sure, something like that. Um, or maybe a bit less. So I don't know how much it is in America for you. It might be like about $28 or something or 30 I don't know. But uh, you can get it on Amazon. That's where I got it from. So it is Denise Alvarado's Anthology of Conjure. I do, I did have more of her books. Um, but like I said, when I moved, I don't know where half of them bloody went to. I had the Hoodoo um, and Voodoo book. I had the um, some of her, um, oh, what they're called now. Jesus, I've lost my train of thought. Um, <clears throat> I, I had the Hoodoo Voodoo book. I had the um, the doll one, the Voodoo doll spell book. Um, the who? That's it. The Hoodoo almanacs. I had about um, three or four of them from different years, but she hasn't done any more of them. But I had them as well, and they seem to have disappeared as well. So, feck knows where they disappeared to. But yeah, right, we'll go on to the other books. We're going to be able to do a while. This is a freaking big book. I've had this in many, many years. Um, it says here, in the US it costs $34.95 and in England it's $19.99. It's a book by Cassandra Eason, Complete Book of Spells. I've had this many, many years, as you can tell. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is a good book. 
um, it has got so many things in this book. Um, this is a good spell for beginners as well. Um, like I said, it's called Cassandra Easton's Complete Book of Spells. Ancient and Modern Spells for the, the Solitary Witch. So we have Spells for Love in here. Um, there's spells for attracting new love, traditional spells for identifying a lover and attracting love, spells for commitment and marriage, spells for fidelity, spells for fertility, spells for reconciliation of love and spells for ending a relationship. Part two, it says spells for personal happiness, spells for good health, courage, happiness, passing a test, mending stuff that's broken and also spells for wishes and good luck. Part three, it says here that there's spells for success at work, spells of, ha of a harmonious workplace, spells for a new job, improving your career, self-employment at home, um, part four, money and prosperity, spells to, spells to bring money quickly, spells for abundance and prosperity, um, spells for luck, luck with money and spells to reduce debt. Um, next one is part five, spells for protection, all kinds of stuff to do with protection, protecting loved ones, protecting your home, protecting children, protecting travel, protecting your work, protecting against bad neighbours, protecting from psychic attacks. Also a uh, part six, it says here, um, spells for changes and transitions, like spells for new beginnings, spells for changes within the family spells for travel spells for moving house and also spells for work and retirement also in part seven this is a very big book uh, spells for health and healing um there's also spells for healing pregnancy and childbirths spells for relieving pain spells for peaceful dreams and there's also spells for absent healing as well as spells for um, family and friends. Part eight is spells for your animals. Um, here, spells to strengthen your link with your pet. Spells for healing your pet. Um, spells for protecting them from harm. Also, spells um, for attracting wildlife and drawing strength from exotic creatures. Part nine, um, spells for banishing and binding. Uh, it says here, banishing destructful relationships. Letting go of guilt or in the past. Overcoming addictions. Part 10 is spells for the planet. And that's what we all need to save this bloody planet because it's going to shit. Um, it says it's spells for peace within the nations. There's a spell in here for that. There's a spell for dealing with disasters. Spell for combating environmental destruction. Um, spells for healing and re rejuvenation of resources and part 11 spell casting creating and it goes in about how you can create your own spells this book is bloody massive look how big it is this is a very good book like i said it's here cassandra eason's complete book of spells so i'll tell you how many pages it's got in this book i haven't read this book for many many years as you can tell it's all right it has it goes up to the end of the index, which is 752 pages. I, I, if you just if you were beginning, I would get this book. Beginner is a very good book to have. And it, and it teaches you how to write your own spells. And it goes into... Basically, this is a book for every single spell possibly, basically. And it's a very good book. So, let's go into this one. This one's just like a, uh, a little tiny book on hoodoo and folk magic. Um, it's Pagan Portals by... Rachel Patterson. It goes on about the Loa and the Orishas in this book as well, which is good. Um, in here it says what is hoodoo, root work, how to lay tricks, washes, oils, incense, mojo bags, bottle spells, foot track magic, powders, candle magic, lamp magic, sigil and symbols, Crossroad magic, miscellaneous magic, disposing of your magic tricks, um, locations for laying down your tricks, what if the magic isn't working, it says here, um, famous people in hoodoo, so it goes on about like Marie Lavo and stuff like that, um, hoodoo deities and spirits and religions, 
so I've bookmarked some pages. We've got different oils in here. It tells you how to make certain oils and baths. It's only a small book, but it's got a good a good lot of information in it. It goes. It tells you how to make an own crossing incense in here. Feeding powder for your mojo bags. Bottle spells. Let me get to the part with the oddishes and stuff like that. Let me find it. Crosswords magic, miscellaneous magic. Where are we? Where was we? I was reading this book. Famous people in hoodoo. It goes on about Marie Laveau in here as well. <clears throat> I remember there was a story about Marie Laveau where she, in order for her thing to work, she put really hot peppers under her tongue. Um, I don't know whether anyone um, has heard about it, but she put really, really hot peppers under her tongue to get what she wanted and it came to fruition. Um, I, I, why did I say that now? I think I don't know whether I watched someone or I read it somewhere. It goes in about uh, that she died in 1881. It literally goes on about on about Marie Laveau and about the man that gave her the mojo bag and the, and and stuff like that. If you read about it. Um, it goes on about King Solomon. It says, who do date is the spirit, spirits? It goes on about St. Peter, St. Anthony, St. Jude, St. Martha, St. Michael. And it goes on about the Orishas. So it goes on about Elegua. Um, it goes on about Babalao. I think the have Babalao, Baba. I don't know how, I, I don't know if I'm saying his name right here. I think, I don't know how to, Babalao, I think that's how you supposed to say his name. Um, there's got gone about Ogun, Ochosi, Obatala, Oya, Oshun. It goes about Yemeya, Shango, um, Orimilla. I think I pronounced that name right. I'm sorry if I didn't. I'm really sorry. Eshu. Um, it goes on about many, many more. It goes on about Papa Legba, Baron Semadi, um, Mama Bridget. It goes on about the seven African powers in Africa. It goes on about the word voodoo, voodoo and voodoo and voodoo because it's spelled in different ways. So there's voodoo, V-O-U-D-O-U-N and voodoo, V-O-D-O-U and the other word voodoo, V-O-O-D-O-O. It goes on about that as well. It goes on about the different cultures, Santeria and all kinds of other stuff that it goes on about. So yeah, this is a really good book, this, if you want to learn about hoodoo as well. It's called Hoodoo, Folk Magic, Pagan Portals. I don't think it even cost me that much, to be quite honest with you. And it's quite, it's a good book. So that's another book. This one got sent to me years, about a, a while back now. Um, and God rest his soul, um, Mr Raymond Buckland is no longer with us no more. He died maybe... When did he pass away now? I think it was about eight or nine, about eight months ago now. And he was such a lovely, lovely man. Um, he was so lovely. Um, Buckland's Book of Witchcraft. This is a very good book. I've got this sent by um, a lady called Rebecca. Um, she sent me this ages ago. But I loved him. Buckland, he was such a lovely man. Um, the Complete Book of Witchcraft. Most witches will probably have this book. The big, the, we call it the big blue book. Um, but yeah, it, it's got so much stuff in this book here. It's amazing. Um, like I said, I've, I have learned a lot over the years. I've been reading and reading and reading. That's all you can do. And like, no matter how many years you've been doing this, like I've been doing this 23 years now, but like you could never ever learn too much. You know what I mean? You're still learning all this time. You know what I mean? I just, cause I've been, doing this 23 years there could be someone that's been doing it five years that knows even different more stuff than me you know what i mean but just because i've been doing this 23 years doesn't mean i know obviously everything but you know what i mean you're always always learning every single day so yeah i just study and study and study all the time um so yeah this is Buckland's a big blue book that's what i call it complete book of witchcraft and when was this made I I cannot, I don't know when this was published, but let's have a look. 
Ooh, I think it was done in 1980, 1986. Blooming it. No, sorry. I think it was the first published in 1986. And it, this new one, uh, it was expanded in 2003. So, yeah, it's got so much stuff in this. It uh, It's... Um, See, this is like kind of like wicker kind of thing, I think. Different kinds of stuff. Um, it goes about, it's, a, it's got, these are like lessons. It gives you lessons to do. So there's lesson one, the history and physiology of witchcraft. Lesson two, the beliefs. Lesson three, tools, clothing and names. Lesson four, getting started. Lesson five, covens and rituals. Lesson seven, Wait a minute, I missed number six out your dozy mare. Level six, it goes out on about the sabbats. Um, level seven, level, level, why am I saying level? Lesson, sorry, lesson seven, it goes on about the meditation, dreams and and the minor sabbats. Lesson eight, marriage, birth, death and channeling. Lesson nine, divination. Lesson ten, herbalism. Lesson eleven, magic. Lesson twelve, the power of the written word. Lesson 13, healing. Lesson 14, getting it all set up. Lesson 15, solitary witches. So it's a really good book. Really, really, really good book. Uh, and, it, and it even tells you how to make your own robe here. If you want to make your own robe, it goes into that here. It's a really good book. So if you haven't got this... <coughs> excuse me. If you haven't got this book... I've read this book like three or four times over and over. Um, but yeah, it shows you all kinds of of stuff. It's a really, I mean, I say it's, it's a really, really good book. Let me try, I'm sure those stuff, it goes into different symbols that you can use here. Like the rune signs. Like I always use like rune symbols and sigils on my spell candles when I do them. It is very good. It's got like different symbolisms in here. And it shows different kinds of stuff. So that one is Raymond Buckland's Complete Book of Witchcraft. And that is very, very good. A classic course. Oh, this is a Wiccan for Wicca for 25 years. So it's basically got 25 years of stuff in this. <laughs> so yeah, that's that one here. Right, this one I love as well. It's also a hoodoo book. Hoodoo Herb and Root Magic. Um, sorry, someone's trying to message me. Who do herb and root magic? Um, this is a really good book. Um, this is also from Lucky Mojo's by Catherine Ironwood again. Um, it goes into all the herbs and basically what you can use them for. It's a very, very, very good. I think most of us witches have got this book anyway. Um, some of us anyway. Um, it has got so many things in it. Like, I'll give you an example of what is in this book. Let me just get to past introduction bit. Um, like, it goes into, like, say Adam and Eve root. It shows here, look. If Look here. It gives you a big description of what you can do and what kind of spell you can do with it. So it's a really, really good book. So it goes in Adam and Eve root. It says Adam and Eve root you could use to um, a woman's bosom sachet to increase love you can use it in that you can use it as a charm to attract love of a man to bring your love to you and it tells you how you can do it um to keep love strong and to get a proposal of marriage it is really let me just go to another one let me go here <coughs> it goes about cloves um citronella um five finger grass it goes in there, everything basically, and it gives you a good description here of what you can use it for um, and how to use them basically. Like it goes at the coffin nails as well. It says here um, to curse, you know, to cause someone to sicken. Wrap your enemy's name um, written nine times on a piece of paper with their hair. Put it in a bottle with nine, nine, nine nails, pins, and needles. Add crossing powder, goof for dust, graveyard dirt, and bury the bot bottle on your and on near your enemy's house or on their or in under their step. Basically, literally, it gives you stuff like it gives you the herb or the curio 
and it tells you how you can use it and what you can do. It's a very, 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 very good book. It, it's got every single herb and it gives you and like little pictures in here as well. But yeah, that book is good as well. Who do herb and root magic? One of my good favourite books as well. We're going to be here for at least for more than another hour. Um, we have Magic When You Need It by Judica Eels. Judica Eels is the one who wrote the 5,000 um, spells book. So this is um, Magic When You Need It by Judica Eels. It's only a small book. It has her picture in the back here, in the back there. So, yeah, it says uh, the book that she wrote is the Encyclopedia of 5,000 Spells. That's the book that she wrote. I have that book in here that I'm going to show soon. <laughs> um, so this book has, how many pages does it have? Let's have a look. It has 173. So what is in this book, you might ask? <laughs> um, 150 spells you cannot live without, basically. So, first off, it says magic when you need it. The mechanics of magic, components of magic, um, emergency magic kit, get cash fast, get a loan. It basically goes into everything. Love, sex, marriage and children. It goes into all of it here. What's in the book? This is the contents here. It's really, really good. It, all of my books are good. It's got so many things. It's got protecting your home, magic when you need it. So basically, when you need to do a spell, it's going to be in this book. Um, let me find something in here that I could show you. It tells you how to get spell the spell. So how to get cash fast, shopping bag full of cash. Um, it doesn't really. It, it, she she oil, an old hoodoo formula. She she oil. It's for poverty, and um, attracting wealth. Yeah, this tells you about shishi oil. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. Goes about getting a loan. Um, have your debts forgiven. There's a spell in here for that as well. How to get your debts forgiven. Um, increase a business. How to, how to um, make a business floor wash. Make someone irresistible to you. Um, love binding spells. Spells to get a divorce. Um, there's basically everything in it's find your soulmate. If you hear the dog snoring, I'm sorry, he's right next to me. Spells to get pregnant to help you, obviously, with your fertility. Um, prevent marriage and premature delivery. There's a, there's a spell in there for that. Uh, there's literally so many things in this, it's unbelievable. Make your children behave in public. <laughs> this is quite a cute one. It's about a house of sweetening where you can make like a Hansel and Gretel house. Um, but it's a spell for that. It's really good. Um, it, it's kind of cute, actually. Um, <coughs> this book is called Magic When You Need It by Judica Ailes. So I'll hold it up again just in case you want to look it up. It's probably on Amazon anyway. Why is it not focusing? Come on, there we go. Magic When You Need It. Emergency Spells for Every Occasion by Judica Eels. So there's that one. This one's a crystal book, a crystal spells. If, you, if you're into crystal magic, then these are spells that you can just do with crystals, basically. Um, I don't think I've actually read through this book, to be quite honest with you. I think someone sent me it a while ago. I think I, I just skimmed through the book. Um, I don't really own loads of crystals. I'm not really into crystals that much. But someone sent me it. Um, basically, what the book is about is about using crystals in spell work. It says here on the back, right, raise your crystal spell work to the next level. It says here, dozens of spells that you can use for health, love, home, garden, problem solving, dreams, astral travel and many more. Ha with hands on spells, rituals, grids. And magical methods. The book of crystal spells is a practical and in-depth guide to using stones in a creative way. 
five tips on cleansing and charging your stones learn to craft magical jewelry amulets and talismans with your stones incorporate numerology meditation elixirs crystal grids for your spell work expand your magic practice by using glass and sand metal crystal points and more increase your knowledge of crystals spells with exercises whether you're a beginner or an expert take your magic to a higher level with the magic stones and so it goes in about crystal magic basically so that's it so if you're into crystals this is an, a book about it i haven't really read through it. i might actually read through it today actually because I, I think when i first got it i only skimmed through it so i might read this actually i'm going to put this down here and I'm going to read that later. That's one book box down. I'm going to put those back in there. I'm going to keep the Hoodoo ones out. Um, I literally like had to undo the boxes again to do this because um, they were all packed away. So that's that. That would be it. That's that one. Put that one there. <clears throat> and that one back as well. Right. I'll put that there for a second. Right, now onto this box. I've got bloody loads. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, I've got another hoodoo book. Here is Six Stones, Roots and Bones. It's a hoodoo. Explore the history, mystery of magic and hoodoo. Oh, God, I've got so many things in this. This is a good book as well, if you like it. If you're into hoodoo. It goes on about fixing to work the roots, time and space, equipment and tools, gathering and drying your herbs, storage. And it goes in about techniques. It goes in about, it's in the bag, African cons, concepts and nation sacks. Then the third part is the broom in hoodoo, brooms in Africa and African Americans. Um, it goes on about Chinese floor washes, cleansing rituals and spiritual baths, harvesting stuff. It goes on about the elements of water. It goes on about the um, the Orishas as well, like Ogun, the warrior, um, Oya, um, the Orisha of wind, Shango, the alchemist. It goes on about um, foot track magic. Protection means war, water bottles, graveyard dirt, keeping the peace, prosperity, it, fidelity. It goes in about everything. Hoodoo child. Um, it goes in quite a lot of stuff in here. It's a very, very good book. It tells you how to make mojo bags, certain powders. It basically tells you also about the, um, the culture of hoodoo as well. So that's good. I like to read everything about the cultures. It's got everything in this book as well. So this is a very, very, very good book as well. Sticks, Stones, Roots and Bones. That's a hoodoo book as well. So next one is another hoodoo book, which is called... Which the papers have got knackered on them. It's called The Conjure, Work, the Conjure Workbook, Working the Root by Star Cassius. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. This is another hoodoo book. Um, it's a very, and I mean, this is a really good book. And she's got some good books out as well. She's got, I think she's got a volume two of this one as well. This is volume one. It goes in about timings and working with spirits, bottles. It basically goes in about all kinds of stuff that's in the other books. Like powders and dirts, floor washes. It's a very good book. It gives you like prayers and stuff inside of it um, to bring back to bring someone back it tells you how to do that separation packets it goes on about um, a novena to saint jude and it gives you um spells to do with the saints like saint raymond it goes on about divination psychometry which is um psychometry is an object and yeah <laughs> to do with object i think that's what it's about i'm sure it is psychometry let me just have a look psychometry reading reading the spirit 
of someone someone's object basically yeah i was right <laughs> yeah and um, it goes into reversing cross conditions and it shows you how to do it here look all of it here and this is a very good book to have as well so if you're wanting to learn more about conjure get this book working the root by star cassis i think her name is sorry if i'm saying it wrong this one of um is just like a little spell book that i've had a while spellcraft to bring magic into your life it's just like a, a, a little spell book god i've had it ages when did i get this i can tell i've had it ages because the pages are like stuck together and everything when did i get this book i've had this ages i've had it many years i know that i think i've had it since like year 2000 or something i've had it a while yeah wait a minute let me look yep it says here that it was published in 1998 yeah i think i got this um just before i moved to where i um to this city so yeah i've had this quite a long time this book it's just like little like stuff here love prosperity luck protection work see all oh, the pages are stuck together i've had it that long everything's stuck together look but it's still in good condition because i don't i haven't really read it that for, for ages I just think i've had this since, since year 2000 it's like 18 years i've had this book <laughs> jesus see where i've had it this long yeah i remember reading it yeah it's got like all kinds of different stuff in like a sh stuff about astrology i'm gonna have to try and unstick these bloody pages talking about different herbs and what have you it's quite a cute little book to have if you're starting out basically it's got something about love here and cute little illustrations inside a love powder aromatherapy love filter um <clears throat> a charm to bring back your stray lover um a spell to keep your lover spouse faithful it's got loads of stuff in this. It goes in about prosperity. God, the pages are stuck together. Prosperity oils. It goes in about the prosperity talisman. Here, like with the numbers on it and stuff here. Um, oh, so yeah, this is a cute little book as well to have. It's called Spells by Matthew, Matthew Green here so that's that one the next one is called the witch's journal charm spells potions and enchantment by celine silverwind here um it's a cute little book as well i love this little book it's cute so as you can see it's got lovely little pictures in here it's like a it's like a journal for yourself to write stuff in as well it goes on about my I, I can't, someone sent me this i'm sure they did yeah i think someone sent me this um, it's got loads, look at how beautiful it is inside, it's so pretty look, it's got all little pictures in it and everything. I, I've been doing this video for 43 minutes, I'm nowhere near through the books yet, I've still got like loads left. Um, learning the basics and it, it's so pretty, it's got pictures and everything in it. Um, it goes in about types of magic, magical correspondences, look about the chakras in here, it's a lovely book. Um, I'm going to have to start reading these books again. It goes in about the magical correspondences of colours. And here, here's the pictures. How pretty are they? Is this? It's lovely. Um, all different colours. It goes on about stones and crystals in this book. It goes on about herbs. I, I love the picture imagery that it has in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here. Um... The magic of heavens, it goes in about the, all the like the planets. Here, it goes on about the planets, it goes about the moon, it goes on about planetary days and hours in this book as well. Here, into this book, it also when to avoid magic, moon void, of course. It tells you about the moon voiding, of course, as well. It goes in about divine magic, choosing a pantheon to work with. It goes on about the Celtic deities. 
Egyptian deities. Like if you look at Horus there, the Eye of Ra, Horus, I have that here. I have that as a protection symbol on my arm here. The Eye of Ra, Eye of Horus, I have that as well tattooed on my arm. He says, Horus is the sky god who inhabits the body of the living pharaohs. He is usually depicted as a man with a falcon's head. His symbol is, a, is the eye of Horus. He is also connected to the sun. So this is what I got. It's, it's a protection symbol for me. So I use that. He's got the Egyptian deities in. Greek and Roman deities. Chinese deities. African deities. It shows um, a Santorian um, cast iron spell pot. There. It shows... A Santeria, what happens in Santeria? Um, I doing African deities as well. Goes about Ogun, Oshun, Oya, Yemaya, Shango, Eligua, Papa Legba, Obatala. Um, it goes on about Hindu deities, magical and divinationly tools. So it goes on all about, all about that as well. There, um. It, I think I've only read this book a, a few times, to be quite honest with you. Um, but it, it is a good book, though. Consecrating your tools. goes on about all the candles. I, I love the imagery in it. It's really pretty. What's it called? It's the Witch's Journals. Witch's Journal. Charms, Spells, Potions and Enchantments by Celine Silverwind. It's a nice book. If you're a beginner, this is a very good book as well to have. Um, it goes in about your affirme that you can use here. It goes in about wands as well. It goes in about your chalice, the cauldron. I've actually ordered a cauldron and it's coming today, a new one. My other one cracked. How a cast iron one cracks, I've no freaking idea. It did it in transit while it was um, being moved, so I've had to order a new one. So that's coming today. Um, so I'm getting a new cauldron. To burn my incense in. Was about brooms, other tools, altars, altar dressings, divination. It, it shows you, and it also goes into tarot. It teaches you how to do tarot as well. So it's got tarot in here. Um, it tells you the suits of the tarot in here. Look, all here in this book here about tarot. Um, it goes in about the runes, and it tells you what what each one is it goes on about scrying and um astrology it's this is a really good book it goes on about spell work here here we go types of spells <coughs> spells charms and potions so it has um like little spells in here charms cast it tells you how to make do a cast um a cast a circle it tells you about magical ingredients, manifesting spells, and it has the lovely little pictures in again. This is a, actually a lovely little book. I love the image. I love imagery in books. It shows you how to do a banishing spell in this book. Um, banishing and half a harmful person here. Love spells. It's basically a beautiful spell. If you like imagery in books, then you'll probably love this book. So yeah, that it goes in about prosperity. So yeah, this is a really cute book as well. And, um, it's called The Witch's Journal. Here. This is that one. On to the next one. I have The Grimoire of Santa Morte. This one. I love this. Obviously, you know that I work with her. Um, I am eclectic as in with magic, not with like, I, the only one person, only one I work with is her. I do not work with nobody else at all. I only work with her um, and she is amazing. Um, I work with her white form. She has three forms. She has the red, the white and the black. I work with her white form. Um, uh, which is more like a grandmother kind of um, feeling. Um, the red, uh, the red, um, you can work love with her. The black, you can work like um, 
protection and other dark things with the black one. I work with a white one where she will work, do anything with the white one, but she will do it on a on a nicer level, if you know what I mean. Um, so I always I work with her, her white one and I sometimes work with her red one, but I mainly do work with her white form. Um, but any other spells I work on my hoodoo altar. Um, I have my Santa Morte altar, which I do um, love and like other workings on and the other other darker ones I do on a hoodoo or of my own. So yeah, this is the Green War of Santa Morte. It goes into spells and rituals and and the Holy Death, um, the official saint of Mexico. I love this book. I do have another book of her, a couple of more books of hers, and I could not fathom out where the hell I have put them to put it bluntly with you. I have three or four more books of, of this because this is, I've got one that's, um, there's a volume one and a volume two of it. And I do not know where the hell I have put them to put it bluntly. But this is, um, this is a really good book on, on Santa Marte. Um, it goes in about who she is and who is the Holy Death. She obviously she's the saint of Mexico. Um, it goes in about Catholic, Catholicism and paganism, how to work with her, um, spells and, and rituals to her. It goes about who she is. Um, it says she's a folk saint um, from Mexico. Those It says, to those who devote to her, she is their friend, their spiritual mother. I see her as a grandmother feeling um, or a motherly feeling. And how you would approach her is you would speak to her as if she was your grandparent or your mother. You don't want to disrespect her at all. And, and you know what I mean? If you say you're going to give her something, you give her something because she can take back what she gives you. You know what I mean? She's not a really, really, really nasty. I don't, well, I haven't seen anything bad. You know what I mean? But with me, I've been working for nearly four years now and she, um, working with a white form, she's pure and, it, and it's all been okay so i always give her what i'm saying i'm gonna give her i always pay her with her offerings i give her corporal um i give her apples i give her um candy chocolate um marigolds um beautiful flowers i give her rum or tequila i give her cigars i blow cigars over her Alter, I do all sorts with her, and she's truly amazing. She's a very, very, very powerful saint. So I will say that she's a, a very extremely powerful saint. Um, it goes in about the miracles of Santa Morte, um, and what she can do. She can heal the sick people. Um, she heals um, children, unborn and protected families, homes, lives can be saved by her. Relationships improved. Justice will be served. Prisoners can be freed. Yes, she does work with um, um, drug dealers and drug barons and stuff like that. They call on her um, as well. Um, it says here that also um, of obstacles will be... Well, whatever you want to work with her with, she will help you basically. Because she's just saying that will help anybody. You know what I mean? But obviously you have to be... Um, What's the word? Oh, I don't know what the word is. I've just had a brain fart. Um, you have to be, that's it. You have to be very, very respectful with her. Um, you can't be disrespecting her and speaking shit about her, basically. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, you'll probably get what you deserve. <laughs> well, to me, I'm always nice to her. I I always praise her because she's absolutely unbelievable. Um what I have seen so far, she is amazing. She always works well with me. And I do prayers to her. Um, I sometimes use the Psalms. It depends, in, it depends on what I kind of spell work I'm doing. Um, I do her um, rosary. But um, at the moment, I'm learning... Oh, excuse me. I've got itchy nose. At the moment, I'm learning Spanish. I'm trying to learn it, but it's not sticking at the moment. I'm trying. I'm only learning it at the moment. But um, I 
do translate um, her rosary from Spanish to English. So that's what I'm doing at the moment until I can learn a bit more, if you know what I mean. Oh, like I said, you never learning. You're always learning, basically. So that's what I'm doing with with that one. So that's Santa Morte. Um, also, there's a, one. <coughs> excuse me, another Dorothy Morrison book. Um, hold on a minute. Here, which is Everyday Magic by Dorothy Morrison: Spells, Rituals, and Modern Living. You can literally tell that this book has been bloody used a lot. Um, it's got so much in this here. And it has been used a lot when I was younger. <laughs> oh dear me, I've had this bloody book ages. It's got here. This book came out in 2003. I've had it a quite a long while. <laughs> um, this book goes into um, ancient arts. Um, it also goes into stuff about abuse, anxiety. It's, this is about modern ma magic for busy folks. Cleansing, communications. It goes on about everything. Divination, divorce, dreams, energy, friendship, gambling, gardening, gossip, theft, unwanted guests, wisdom. It's got everything. Like I said, it's got like a little... Um, that was me a second. It's got one here to have someone contact you as well um, by using a yellow candle and a needle. Like, say, if your friend hasn't called you for about four days, you can get him to call you by doing that. This video has been going on for like nearly an hour now. Um, and we're still not nowhere through it. Um, <clears throat> goes on about intuition, how to do a dark moon spell for your intuition. It goes in about um, a charm to bring lust into the bedroom using an apple and cloves. Um, it goes in about obstacles, a goddess prayer, protection charms and strength. That one's called Everyday Magic by Dorothy Morrison. I told you this bloody book thing will be on for ages now we have two books that correlate with each other so oh, jesus christ we have the craft a witch's book of shadows by Dorothy. I, i've also got a load of dorothy morrison books by dorothy morrison's and then there's a second part to it which is the craft com companion so it, these two books go together basically so this one's kind of like a book of shadows um, it teaches you how to um, my casting. Excuse me, I got a really itchy nose today. Um, my, I've got um, hair fever, you say so. Yeah, the pollen is high today in England. So yeah, um, it goes in about in this book. Oh, there's little um, lessons in this book as well. It goes in about consecration of tools, how to cast a circle. Um, it goes in about the pentacle, obviously the pentacle. It's got lessons in here, like week three and four, five, other tools, magical tools. Basically, it's got it's kind of like a book of shadows, basically. It goes in about the moons, like December moon is the oak moon, wolf moon is January, April is the hair moon, March the seed moon, July the wart moon, the barley moon. And it goes in about the sabbats. So it goes in about in bulk um, for February the 2nd. Um, Beltane, it tells you all about Beltane, which is the 1st of May. That's why um, the Maypole is um, a representation of the god, is the god's phallus. Um, him being fertile. And obviously they're dancing around and uh, yeah. That's what it represents. The maypole represents the god's phallus um, being erect, basically, and being fertile, ready to meet his love, if you know what I mean. So that is Beltane. Um, it goes on about everything, basically, in this book. So that is the, the Craft the Witch's Book of Shadows by Dorothy Morrison. And the second part to it is the Craft Com 
companion the witch's journal so it even has like little bits in here where you can write in it if you wanted to if this <coughs> excuse me this is basically the journal of it how to use this book tells you about how to use it how to, um oh this is kind of like a wiccan thing it goes in about the wiccan reads um stone spells for magic it gives you like parts to write in where you can write it's basically a, um, a journal for yourself um basically that's all it is it's basically a journal to write your stuff in um and how you spell it like spells to see beauty in life so you would do that and then you would write what happened with the spell and uh, um, did it manifest when it manifested if you know me kind of like a book of shadows like you'd write this video has been going on for an hour already right so this is this book here the craft companion a witch's journal so that one goes along with that one basically so that's that one the next one is a big huge book i've took the the, the i've had this many many years so the covers come off it is the encyclopedia of 5000 spells by judica Ills. it is bloody massive and trust me everyone you want to get this book it's bloody good it's got so it literally has everything and I, i'm not bullshitting it has literally you could think of summer and it'll be in this bloody book so i've just opened it up pine cone spell it has um saint george's fertility spell um it goes on about um mandrake it goes on about um spell to relieve mental health has no anna candle for extra strength it got its own about how to make oils a hemlock spell um goof for dust basic um stuff to do with go goof for dust um there's a goof for dust candle it says it sliced off the top of a black candle so that it is flat um and we'll stand carve the bottom of the candle to make a new wick um so that'll be like kind of like doing a reversal spell um carve and dress your candle as you wish place the candle on a plate and cover with goofy dust and burn it and con con concentrate on your desires so that's probably like for a hex or something yeah the, the, the tells you how to do hex balls goofy dust um hemlock it goes about reversal spells this book is bloody heavy but it's got so many things in it this book is amazing <coughs> if you haven't got this book already then obviously you'll know how good it is um it is a fantastic fantastic book and literally it has everything and i may literally mean anything you can think about is god in it foot track magic powders oils banishings hexes love work health work stuff for your animals stuff to combat um literally combat anything um clairvoyant spells crystal spells guardian <coughs> excuse me guardian animal spells um it's got protection protection spells like i said here um what other ones stuff to get money this book is bloody amazing if you haven't jesus christ this is heavy if you haven't got this book yet go out and get it it's bloody fantastic <coughs> and trust me you will not be like annoyed you know what I mean? When you read this book, it is bloody amazing. It is the Element Encyclopedia of 5,000 Spells by Judica Eels. I told you we are going to be here for over a bloody hour, didn't I? Right, we've got about God knows how many more now. This book is bloody amazing. It is the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs by, <coughs> excuse me, by Scott Cunningham. Basically, what this book is, is whatever herbs you can think of magically, it is in this book and it tells you about it so let's just flip we'll stop here it goes on about deer's tongue and it shows you a little picture and it says here that the folk names is vanilla leaf wild um vanilla and hound's tongue its gender is masculine it the planet that rules it is mars the element is fire and it it uh, the powers is used for lust and psychic powers. Magical uses. Um, worn, worn or carried to attract men. Deer's tongue 
is also sprinkled on the bed for this purpose and it also aids in psych psychic powers if it's worn so basically it tells you the herb oh speaking of something i was talking about um to belinda <laughs> a couple of days yesterday belinda reedy she's my friend you probably watch her on youtube anyway about blood root um and it's just literally skipped to blood root which is strange yeah it tells you about blood root um and it says it's king it's known as king root red root and tetherwort it is masculine it is ruled by mars its element is fire its powers are used for protection and um, for protection love and purification <coughs> it says magical uses the root is carried and worn to draw love it is carried to avert evil spells and negativity place near the doorway or windowsill of your home to be protected the darkest red roots are considered to be the best and are known as king roots. Uh, this is what I mean. It's an excellent book, this. Encyclopedia of Her of Magical Herbs by Scott Cunningham. So let's pick out another one. We'll pick out fenugreek. It says here that it's also known as bird's root, Greek hayseed. What to... Planet is ruled by Mercury. Its element is air. The deity is apollo and it is good for money so like i said this book is bloody brilliant <clears throat> like i said look at what it shows you it shows you all of this stuff here and it tells you what it's used for so this is a very good book to have in your collection if you're start if you are starting out this is a very good book to have as well because it it gets you to know what herbs are good for what if you know what i mean so that's this is a really good book to have so if you're just starting out i would really advise getting this book so then you can work on what herbs uh, are used for what so um definitely get this book here so the next one is the witch's bible a complete um witch's handbook i've had this a while as well um what is in this book i tell you i'm not going to go through everything i'm just going to show you the books basically um, everything you need to know is in here it, it says here that it's got the sabbats which it has um, it tells you about casting circles uh, the complete book of shadows the great rite initiation rites consecrating rites spells tells you about witches tools witchcraft and sex running a coven clairvoyance and astral travel it has this book is so, so long and the print is very small in it. It is a very good book. It's one of the first books I ever got. Um, <clears throat> and US, it is $23.95. Um, I think I got it for $19.99, I think, many years ago. In this book, it has... How many pages is it? People like to know what how many pages are in the book. It has 350 pages in this witch's bible it is really good um <coughs> excuse me i've got sick of, i think we hear fever stein it tells you about the sabbats like i said um before in the other ones it's basically kind of like a book of shadows and it also shows um pictures as well in, in it as well so that is this is the opening of the body ritual it goes into all sorts in this book. So if you're interested in this, it goes in about how to run a coven. <coughs> Excuse me, it shows you little symbols. But yeah, this is a really, really huge book. The Witch's Bible. Woo! We're going to get there eventually. This one's good as well. The Complete Book of Incense, Oils and Brews by scott cunningham here um whoa sorry the dog's licking himself <laughs> it's a <coughs> oh dear me i swear it gi literally gives you all ingredients how to make stuff so it tells you how to make all kinds of different incenses like here all kinds of different incenses here whoa Sorry, my dog's like licking himself in the background. It goes, it literally tells you about all the incenses you can make, and all the sabbat incenses you can make, um, the planetary ones as well. 
There's also stuff in here, protection incenses, uh, <coughs> spiritual study ones, success ones, um, temple, um, true love incense, Venus incense. It goes on about the... Um, God, my nose is itchy. It goes on about oils you can make. Look at how it has all the oils here. This is a good book to start off with as well. Um, incense oils and brews. It goes on about... Um, Ointments that you can make as well. Exorcism ointments, flying ointment, um, moon goddess ointment, witch's ointment, psychic powers ointment. It goes on about how to make magical inks as well, so that's a good thing as well. So it also goes on about tinctures you can make, um, money tinctures, sacred tinctures, third eye tinctures. It goes on about herbal bath. Brews that you can make. It's a really, really, really good book. So, along with this one here, these two books will be good to to get together. Um, so, yeah, Incense, Oils and Brews by Scott Cunningham as well. We'll get there eventually. This is a, a, the Wicker Handbook that I've had a while. This is, a, if you want to know about Wicker, if you're starting out and you're wanting to know about Wicker, this is a very good book as well. Um, it, it's basically like all the other books. It's got like how to cast a circle, your tools, picking the right goddess uh, or god, whoever you work with. Um, it goes in about all the directions, the Lord of the Watchtowers, the angels and everything like that. It tells you how to cast circles, how to close a circle. That is that. I'm not going to go too much into that because I don't do Wicker no more. But yeah, that if you start Wicker out with Wicker, this is a really good book to have. So definitely get the Wiccan handbook if you're starting out in Wicker. Um, it's by Eileen Holland, the Wicker handbook. Whew, we'll get there eventually, won't we? We've still got about six more books to go. And there's the Crohn's Book of Magical Words. Um, <clears throat> it's basically got like little incantation kind of things in here. Nothing that special. I just got it to see what it was like. I don't really like this book myself. Um, by Valerie Worth. It's just got a bunch of incantations basically. I didn't think much to it to be quite honest with you. But I thought I'd show you it anyway. Crohn's Book of Magical Words. Like, um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about this book, to be quite honest with you. I'm not really into it that much, but that's one of my books in my collection. This book, this video has gone on forever. I've been, I've got The Real Witch, the Real Witch's Year, Spells, Rituals and Meditation for Every Year by Kate West. This is a good book as well. Oh, God, my bloody nose is itching like crazy. It go, literally goes on about e all the everything, basically. Um, I'll just give you a quick... tells you how to make homemade cough medicine using a pendulum, using eggs. It tells you about herbs, the um, deities, poppies. Oh, oh, actually, it's like a thing. It's like... A, it's kind of like, do you know, like a year and a day thing? Um, it goes into every single day. So say if you... So uh, it'll tell you something. So you start at the beginning um, or wherever you're from and you work your way through it. So today is the 2nd of May. So I will go to the 2nd of May. Where is it? There we go. So the 2nd of May, I will go to here and start from there, work the way to the back and then go back to the beginning. So it goes on, on about um, May poles. So every, it tells you from, from, from January 1st to the end of the year. So you follow the book every single day. So it's kind of like a year and a day programme thing. And it's quite a good book. So today it's all about maples. And it tells you all about it. So it's kind of like exercises to do every day. If you know what I mean. So this is a really good book to have. Kind of like a year and a day programme thing. Um, but it tells you like little spells for every day basically. So it's The Real Witch's Year by Kate West. We're going to be here all bloody day. Now these two are really good if you're into earth magic. Um, this is called Earth Power by Scott Cunningham as well. It's really good, this book. Um, I've used many things out of this book before. 
it, it, it's, pro it's quite a very, very earth-based book. It's really, really good, though. It goes in about how to use air magic, um, water, basically all the elements, earth, air, fire, and water. It tells you how to use it in spells, basically. And it's elemental magic. That's what This is what this is about, really, here. Um, let's help. Let's have a look. Um, sea magic. It goes about sea magic. Sea witchery. It's a really good book. You want to get this book if you're really into earth magic. And there's the other book to it, which is Earth, Air, Fire and Water, which is more techniques for natural, natural magic. And in this one, it um, tells you how to do certain things like air power. It's kind of basically the same as the, the other one, but it's got more stuff in it. Um, it goes about sea magic, like I said. And yeah, I don't even know what to say really. But it's basic. These are really basic books, and they're good to have for first time people starting out in the craft. They're very good to learn about the elements and how to work with the elements and do spell work with the elements. Um, so these two books would go great together in your collection. Um, these ones. So then them two are good. I told you I have a lot of books, didn't I? Now I've got this one called A Century of Spells. I've got this one and I don't didn't think much to it to be quite you can see my dog's head. <laughs> He's like, nope, that's it, I'm going back to sleep. I didn't really think much to this spell. I thought, oh, it looks good because it says century spells and blah de blah, blah. But no, I didn't really think much to it. You might have it if you might think it's different, but I didn't really think much to it. Um I, no, I really didn't think much to this book at all, so I'm not really gonna talk about that book. So we also have The Real Witch's Handbook by Kate West again. She's the one that is with this book here. So by Kate West as well. So this one is The Real Witch's Handbook. Um, probably the same kind of stuff in it. It is basically um, to do with the sabbats and or like how to cast a circle and what have you as well. But it's the same kind of book. So, The Real Witch's Handbook. Like I said, you can never have enough books. Especially when you're a witch, you're learning all the time. So basically, what it, it, this is more like a Wiccan, a Wiccan kind of book. Um, oh my God, we've got one, two, three more books. This one I did a video on. Witchcraft, The Handbook of, Magic, of, of Spells and Potions. This has got some dark stuff in it. I did a video on it. If you go look at my video... Um, I show you inside of this book. Um, I have a video on this book here. Um, it literally has some right stuff in it. Um, the person who got, me, who got me interested in buying this book was um, Sansista San Bruo Luis. He had a video on it and he's an... If you don't watch his videos, go watch his videos. He's so informative. He's an amazing, amazing man. Um, Santisa Bruno Luis, he's amazing. Um, he did some amazing videos, so go watch him. Um, this is where I, got, I, I saw this book on his channel, and I, and I had to get it. I'm sorry, it's gone out of focus again. Oh my god, I swear! Yeah, it's back in focus again now. Bloody hell! Um, so yeah, I got this book here. This is what it looks like here. Um, it's got so it's got to protect a baby. Um, it's got some right weird stuff in it. Oh, my nose is so itchy. To cause someone to seek you out, a woman to follow. Um, it's got everything here to bind something. But in some of the stuff, it's weird to put it bluntly. There's some really weird stuff in this book. Um, if you watch my video, you will see what I mean by weird. Some of the ingredients and wow. Some of it is very strange. Um, let me just find some the stuff to repel a cough. Um, to curse. This is the stuff that I don't like. To curse an unborn baby. I would never do such a nasty thing in my life. It's disgusting. Um, there's one to curse a bride's marriage. To curse a woman's unborn child. These, this is an Indian spell there. There's also... A powwow charm to cast away slander. There's also a, a silence gossip American witch's charm. There's um, exorcism 
a bewitched child. There's, there's another powwow charm against bad men and evil spirits. Um, there's one here to counteract the evil eye. Um, <clears throat> all I can hear is the birds singing outside. But this is a, it is a good book. Well, it's a good book, but the, but mind you, there is some ho horrible spells in it, if you know what I mean. If you're not into really, really dark stuff like cursing an on-ball child, that's not good at all. Not a good at all. Um, it's got all kinds of different, what other stuff has it got in here? Um, but I did, I do, I do, whoa, I just went dizzy. I do have a video on this, so if you want to know more in depth about this book, go watch the video to it after you've watched this whole video and then you'll be able to see what this book is about here. It's in my videos anyway. I, I showed this book all the way through. So the next one, I've got two more books. Yay! These are the two last ones and then you can you could relax. This one is Practical Candle Burning Rituals by Raymond Buckland. This is a very good book as well. This bloody video is an hour and 20 minutes already so you probably just bloody nodded off. <laughs> but this is a really and I mean this is a really good book to have if you're learning about candle magic and candle burning um it all what's in here it gives you um also gives you prayers in this it gives you prayers a Christian prayer or it gives you the old religion version of the prayer so let's go to just let's just flick and we'll stop so this one's to obtain money basically and it tells you what you need and it tells you it look how cool that it even gives you a picture of how to set it up as well um and then it gives you bear with me just let me have a look at this bit on the right side it gives you the christian prayer to say over it and on the left side it gives you a witch's kind of prayer to say instead so the chris um a more lighter one if you know what i mean but yeah, it's um, very Christian based, this one. So I lots of Christian prayers in it as well. But this is a very good book as well, um, Candle Burning Rituals. And last but not least, bloody hell, I bet you're thinking, for fuck's sake, it's over. <laughs> last one is, this is a good book if you're starting out in your witchcraft. Um, it is... To ride a silver broom. Willow. Willow's just kicked half of my books over. This one is To Ride a Silver Broomstick, The New Generation of Witchcraft by Silver Ravenwolf. Um, it's basically like the other books, but this is a good book to, if you were starting out in witchcraft. Um, so let's get on to what's it. I'm just going to see the bits, bits that are bookmarked. The, the bits that are bookmarked is about the god and the goddesses. It says... You mean I get to pick my own deities? So it tells you about deities as well. Also, um, a, f um, a formula for holy water. But otherwise, you could just go to the church and get it. Um, sorry, there's a dog barking. It tells you about how to open a circle and close a circle. Um, composing spells. Candle colours and correspondences. Also, bear with me, let's have a look at this bit. I don't know if it's talking about the herbs. That dog never shuts up, you know, I swear. It goes in about challenging shadows. Let's have a look at this one. It goes in about reincarnation and death, the summerlands. But basically, this is the last book. If you're just starting out in witchcraft, I definitely get this book. The best books to get when you're starting out is this one. Because it teaches you from the beginning about casting circles and what have you and what you need to know. And then obviously the three, the, this is the, the um, books that you might want to get to begin with is this one here. So I yourself a broomstick, the herbs, Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs, um, and also the incense oils and brews is the best ones. So I know this has been like an hour and a half of video and I told you I had a load of books, didn't I? Yep, yeah, I told you I had a load. So I hope you enjoyed the video of me showing all of my books. Um, so hopefully you can you you might like you might see one of the books and think, oh, that might be good. I might want that book. 
So I hope you enjoyed it. I've told you I had millions and millions of books and it'll take off an hour to do this. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video of all my book collection, witchy book collection. And soon I will be doing other videos on how to make certain oils, how to make certain powders. Um, and I'll be getting on to that soon. Uh, maybe within the next week or two. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know you've been here a long time watching this and you're thinking, bloody hell. <laughs> what the hell that's a lot of books like i said i told you i had loads of books didn't i right i'm gonna go now everyone and i hope you enjoyed the video and i will be back maybe in a week or two um doing some more videos once i've got all of my supplies that are coming through the post today and in the next few days so as soon as i've got everything together then i will be doing some more videos so yeah guys i'm going to go i hope you all have a blessed day evening night wherever you are and thank you for watching Mwah.